All right, guys, so I got a little mock up done up right here for you guys on the Peter Bill Wrecker from my buddy Build here with Blue Street Custom. That's Mark at Blue Street Custom. Go check him out. As you can see here, we got the truck bed on. We got the engine in all painted. We got the frame all glued green and painted up. Wheels aren't glued down yet. Nothing's glued down. So, let's take these apart. Show you where I'm at. So I decided to go with uh, my colors as I planned. So we got a part green frame. Did the airbags and the brakes, suspensions all black. The disc plates are on, the hub wheels are in. And we paint we stripped and painted our wheels. They're not great. They're also not perfect. What did I use? I used my Adam Paint Metallics. So as you guys can see here. It's okay. It's not great, great. It's acrylic, so let's see. Anywho, we got the engine all done up. We just gotta seal it in and start weathering it up a bit. I'm not gonna go all out like my buddy Mark's doing, because you probably won't be able to see the engine because the hood might not be able to open. So, but we got it painted, it's ready to go. So we're gonna seal that up and dirty it, put some oil streaks in there and grime, you know. Oh. And so anyways, everything else done up. This fits in there perfectly. So this is just a quick mock-up. I'm gonna put these ones in. Separate over the hubs. Same thing with these. As you can see, I added my disc brakes to the body already. So I just throw these on and glue them up. But I'm going to be sealing in the wheels and then covering them paint. Truck bed. I cut it down trimmed it same thing with the back so now she'll fit we'll have a better fit for our our wheels here it's gonna be a little difficult for me to do because as you see there the wheel wells just fit perfectly thanks to the guys at the Facebook model truck group so if you guys go check them out they'll give you some really good tips on building semi trucks because that's where I got this tip I cut down the bed and trimmed it cut it in cut these up put them back together you can barely tell it was chopped I left this side wall on just because well we don't want to make it look cartoonish, so I left that part. And it fits perfectly right in there. Yeah, that's where I am at so far. And when I come back, we'll show you the rest. And she's coming along. Still got a lot of plastic to go. We're still painting parts. Everything else is primed. Again, okay, go check out Mark over here, Blue Street Customs. See how he's doing with his build? I, I did, and it's looking awesome. Okay, guys. See you in the next one. Alright, guys. Welcome back to the Bench of Gilly. So, here's our update so far on our buddy build here with Blue Street Custom. Everybody knows him as Mark. 
go ahead check out his channel I'll have a description down below me and him are doing the same truck here the Peterbilt Wrecker long stick why they call it a long stick well it had this big ass long stick sticking out of the truck bed anyways here we are so far we got the truck bed cut down painted as you can see I started some of the masking already I kindly did a little bit of black underneath so I don't want it too shiny here we got the hood done same thing that's going to be black underneath cab we painted the cab inside kind of like a light brown beige kind of thing so we got that going same thing with the cab tub that's all beige got a little bit of extra painting going on in there here we got the engine it's all caterpillar yellow all oiled up and dirty Like this was a workhorse so this guy barely kept this thing clean used it 24 7 beautiful Cummins painted the drive shaft metallic what do you call that um, gunmetal still moves that's done and before we throw everything together here I will be weathering this frame so so far we're going pretty good everything's looking pretty good bear with me here we still got more to do the truck bed to that Goes. it's nice and flush there we go step in and like I said I wasn't gonna do too much plumbing on the engine because you probably won't be able to see it we got the hood mount here ready to go underneath that we painted our radiator and radiator cover we're good to go sun visors ready we got the seats the dashboard these are all painted wet and kind of weathered i just got to finish the, the dash here color in these dials just bring out some of that detail in there probably won't see it but still I'll know it's there firewall for the inside of the cabs ready engine parts not quite done but as you can see there's some detail in there so I didn't go all out like Mark did but like I said go check out his channel he's doing a really good job of detailing the inside I tried spraying some of the stacks, but uh, kind of like a dull aluminum. I'm not too sure if that's going to stay. I don't like it, so I'll probably just strip it and I'll repaint it. Probably extreme metal. Who knows? We'll see. Depends how it goes. Anyways, we're just plugging along here. Everything's looking good. We got the stick all ready to go. That's all primed, ready. We got the little railing arms. They're all ready to go. As you can see here, they'll be going on along the side. That's ready. We already did the wheels. Nice little aluminum. These are all ready. And like I said earlier might not be able to see the engine because I might be sticking this big boy on there 
I got this off the old uh, Italy, LA fire truck wrecker. You guys seen that video already? That was years ago. Anyways, hopefully I could stick this guy on there. I'm not too sure. But I might be able to chop it a bit so I can open it just a little. But we'll see. Again, so that's my plan is trying to get this on there. And we soaked our clear parts into our pledge floor cleaner, as you can see here. She's nice and shiny. You can see right through, you can get the lettering all perfect. Uh, pretty nice and clear anyways, look at that. See where the YouTube sign is? Very clear. Got a nice sheen on it. So, that's how, that's how we're looking so far. So hopefully when I come back we can have these all ready to paint with our metallic color from Adam. Adam paints. These are all acrylics. That's all I've been using so far are the Adam acrylic paints. Except for the Tamiya lime green I did for the body frame. Yeah. This is how it's looking so far and yeah, go check out Mark at Blue Street Customs here. Me and him are doing that buddy belt. And stay tuned. By the time I come back, I should have the body painted, the truck painted, the truck bed painted. And hopefully all this put together and we should be almost there. See you at the next one.